happy Christmas everybody. I'm walking along Chilkwall Street in Glastonbury on my way to the Red Spring Gardens or the Chalice Well Gardens which are open today. Um, so I thought we'd go down and have a look around. It's where everybody um, goes to take the waters and see the well. So I'll give you a little bit of the history when we get inside. But for now, let's go and have a look. Cottages all on my left. Have a look at those. There is archaeological evidence that this site has been in use for at least 2,000 years. Signs on the site have dated from Neolithic, Mesolithic, Iron Age, Roman and the Medieval periods. It's not just the garden here, I mean the, the, the area surrounding the garden, the trees are amazing. As you can see as I pan around here, we are surrounded by absolutely loads of amazing trees. Some of them are evergreen obviously, so they are still in leaf, others aren't. So, so I'm going to walk up the garden now, because as I say the garden goes up a hill from here. Uh, we're at the bottom where the water features are, so we're going to head up under the yew trees there and uh, go towards the top of the garden as we climb up. features in the garden. The water flows from the spring through the gardens at a rate of about 25,000 gallons a day and has never failed even during times of drought. The red stains come from the higher ferrous oxide deposits and as most of these springs often are it's reputed to have healing qualities. part here. The main chalice well is at the top there through that gate. But again, it's astounding this garden looks so good even during the winter. So 
as we walk up here to your right the tour starts to come into view over there in the distance if you see that see people walking up the tour oh, hello so we go through this gate Wells often feature in Welsh and Irish mythology as a gateway to the spirit world. This well cover, designed by the church architect and archaeologist Frederick Bly Bond, represents the overlapping of the inner and the outer worlds and was presented as a gift in 1919. This symbol is called the Vesica Piscis and the sword may represent Excalibur. Some say this is where the Holy Grail was buried. If it is, it was very well buried because it's never been found. One thing that's very self-evident as you walk around this place is the power of the trees. They're everywhere. Great, big, strong, wonderful trees. Visible here are the lower slopes of Chalice Hill, which is the hill that sits adjacent to the tour. Sadly, it's private land, so you can't go up it. Um, I actually think the views there are better than they are from the tour. Here we are approaching the highest point in the garden. The reason these benches are here will become very apparent as I swing around and you can see that here is the best view of the tour in the garden, even though that tree is in the way. I'm going to go see if I can move across a bit further so you can get a better view. And there is a lovely view of the tour together with the moon. Now they're ringing the bell so it's time to leave. Thank you for joining me today on this walk around the gardens here at the Chalice Well. It's been an absolute pleasure to come here, it's a beautiful day, it's not cold. Beautiful view of the tour up there with the moon against it and um, the gardens are looking absolutely splendid. Because this is a sacred space and people come here for quiet and contemplation, I've not done much talking on camera so I'll be doing some um, talk overs to give you a bit more information about the place, purely out of respect for the people here using it as a, a silent, sacred space. But thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great Christmas and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.